Hey, how's it going everyone? This is PD Prowlock and we got revenge on Nottingham Forest yesterday at St. James's Park. 3-1 victory, even though I didn't think it, we were brilliant. Our forward passing was very off and we were giving the ball away a lot of the time. There were some players in there who I didn't agree should have been in the starting lineup. But I'm just glad we got the win and Lansbury wasn't playing for them. Otherwise, we would have been giving them absolute shit after what... He, he did when we played them down at their place so yeah it was good getting revenge on these cheating gits because they were cheating a lot of the time and they were trying to cheat at times again the night in my opinion and the uh, fans were just getting kind of mental a lot of the time so <clears throat> of the time but the fourth minute Newcastle win a free kick Richie uh, steps up to take it it deflects and it's in the back of the net good one and Newcastle get an early goal and hopefully we'll probably think we're gonna try and press a bit more but then they started to try and come back to the game uh, Truro however you pronounce his name he had a shot wide and then for the equalizer they whip the ball in we kind of clear it he uh, play a lizard back after Truro for 1-1 one, one. and I'm thinking god almighty we kind of let this team back into the game they've been struggling so bad It'd be disastrous for them to nick all three points here. Because we were dying for revenge in that game. A lot of the time. As well so. But um, we get a corner. And then freaking Perez. Of all people. Is trying to shoot from a close angle. And he ends up clipping the post for a goal kick. He could have just put it back in the box. All the time. Uh, what is going on with Ayosi Perez this season? We're not seeing the Perez. Though we have been seeing him in the Premier League. God almighty, what is happening? So I didn't agree with him starting. I didn't agree with Colback starting as well. I didn't... I, even though he's from here, I didn't rate him at all. I kind of went off Jack, Jack Colback altogether. I didn't think... He was not... I didn't agree with him being in the start of 11. I would have played Mitrovic up front with Gail. I was good at Mitrovic. Didn't come on. He took him there nearly. But storage time for uh, Rafa to bring him on. I was thinking, God almighty, I would, I would, I would love to see more of this lad playing that. But uh, I can understand why he's playing Dwight Gale, and I can understand why he doesn't want to play the 4 4 2 formation as well. So. But I didn't agree, as I said, I didn't agree with Perez and Carl Baxton. I would have thrown on Diarmi and Mitrovic that one to get a bit more one like attacking midfielder, one like defensive midfielder, because as he could say, Carl Back and Hayden are two defensive midfielders a lot of the time, and their passing's not good. Well, Callbacks in particular is passing not great at all. Hayden trying well, thought he did okay at times as well. So we'll get to half time and I think of God almighty, what the hell's going to happen in the second half as well. So, as it, um, but um, we have a, a decent, I know uh, Walls had uh, chances through Gale with a head ass catch and Richie tried a shot with the head swing of his right foot. Keep our couples comfortably. So um, uh, we we'll have another chance through um, uh, through uh, Richie. Uh, Gale gets the ball. He tries to dribble. He plays an atsu. He plays a whipping ball in. It hits one of the players, but then it fell to Richie. You could see by the keeper. But now this is where I wasn't sure at the moment, as I'm sitting in the seat of the crowd. Uh, I heard Mills gives a foul on Richie. Mills gets booked. And then, all of a sudden, I'm seeing a lineman waving his flag and singing, God, and then your fans here and chanting, off, off, off. And also, apparently, and apparent, as I've said, apparently, from what I heard, uh, that Mills actually threw the ball in frustration to Dwight Gale. And that's, pro I think, right the reason that him, he got sent off for that, so... We've got a chance here. Yeah, he has the chance. We're going to do something now. And we got it in after that. Great ball in from Kieran Clark for Dwight Gale to get on there. And you've got to ask, what was the Forest Keeper thinking of doing that for? I love their, their fans will be getting absolutely mad, even their players as well. You're thinking that is horrendous goalkeeping error out there for Gale to get his legs onto it and puts it in. And that's easy to get his 18th goal of the season. And we're back in the driving seat as well, so 
what we kind of do. It wasn't great, as I said, it wasn't really great after that, but we had to realise because they're down to 10 we cannot let Forrest back into the game, man. Glad we didn't. They, it, they started to struggle by a big time after they got the man sent off and after we scored as well after that. So, yeah, and then Gale gets his second goal to pretty much make it all uh, three points as well. So, and uh, it was a ball in from Richie on the right. And he takes it on his chest and the keeper just kind of get there. And um, it's in for 3-1. And I've got, and that's it. Probably getting what set a match as well. So, but yeah, good result, but not a great performance. As I said, with the pass, we've given a lot of the balls. We were trying to be clever with dribbling a lot of the time. So, are we still missing John Joe Shelby badly still? Well... I don't know, but I think it sounds like we're dying for Nibiru back. But as I said, for the next game, I wouldn't play Perez and I wouldn't play Cole back in the next game. Those, uh, I don't know, that's who I would take out for the next game, in my opinion. So I will keep Yedlin at right back. I think he's got pace. He's got for more attacking wise and Nita Morgan on the defensive side. But as I said, I think we need to play a bit more as a, as a, for the game yesterday. I think we did need to play a bit more attacking style a lot of the time. So, and we came out, and I was thinking, okay, that's why we probably got the result last night. So, it was a little bit more attacking, but still a lot of defensive side as well. So, hopefully we can go in against Blackburn and get three points down there after they beat us. St. James is 1-0, so hopefully we can go down there and get three points. I could have done this video as soon as I got home, but my friend called us and said, do you want to get into Smokey Joe's for a bit? I was like, I go. So that's why I've done this video uh, just now. So I hope you've enjoyed it. Subscribe for more. Like the video. What did you think of it? And uh, hopefully we can win the next game. And I'll see you all later. Take care of yourselves. Glad we got revenge on those cheating little kids.